This video is the fifth part of a series which will explain the basic principles of root canal treatment of a single rooted tooth with simple root morphology. In this video, we will discuss the steps taken in the placement and removal of intra-appointment medicament. You will need an endodontic kit, sterile paper points corresponding to the finishing file size, non-setting calcium hydroxide paste and a delivery system such as a syringe, sterile cotton wool pledgets, coltazol, a temporary restorative material such as glass ionomer, local anaesthetic, rubber dam, high speed fissure bear, citric acid and sodium hypochlorite. Following the final irrigation, paper points equivalent to the finishing file size should be used to dry the canal. Note Care should be taken to maintain the sterility of the paper points when opening the packet. Measure the paper points to the working length of the canal and insert them fully to this length to dry the canal. Repeat until the paper points come out dry, indicating that the canal has been dried. The root canal should then be filled with non-setting calcium hydroxide paste. A sterile cotton wool pledget should be placed in the canal orifice and packed in gently using a DG16 probe. Place a ball of zinc oxide eugenol cement into the access cavity and pack. Seal the cavity with a Fuji GI restoration to make identification easier at the next appointment. Ensure the margins of the glass ionomer restoration are well adapted to prevent coronal leakage. Cover the glass ionomer with Vaseline to maintain moisture control while the restoration reaches its full set. Once the temporary restoration is in place, the rubber dam should be removed, the occlusion checked and post-operative instructions given to the patient. The interappointment medicament should be left in place for a minimum of seven days to allow its antimicrobial properties to take effect. The medicament should be removed at the start of the obturation appointment. It is important to check that the dressing is still intact and that there are no presenting symptoms of pulpal or periapical disease. This is to ensure that recontamination or persistent infection of the root canal system is not present. Before removing the restoration, remember to give local anaesthetic in case of residual inflammation. Place a fresh rubber dam and begin removing the dressing. To remove the temporary restoration, drill into the restoration using a high speed diamond fissure burr until the coltazol lining can be seen. Remove the whole temporary restoration and the lining and take out the cotton wool pledget covering the canal orifice. To remove the calcium hydroxide paste, irrigate with 3 millilitres of citric acid followed by 3 millilitres of sodium hypochlorite. Do not dry the canal for the master cone fit. This is the end of part 5. In the next video we will cover the steps of root canal obturation.